What is your favorite integral? Here is mine. Now I can solve this integral using De Marvais theorem, but I think that's a bit long here. I can just rewrite this with an odd power as sine cubed x point sine squared x dx. Now you always manipulate the odd power. I'm going to rewrite this as sine times sine squared. But then sine squared times sine squared is another sine squared x squared. So that this is sine times sine squared, which together with this, because they're the same, is now squared. Now I can use my trig identities and rewrite sine squared as 1 minus cos squared x. Now I just need to expand this bracket. So I get sine x times, to expand square brackets, super simple, we do 1 squared minus, multiply these together is minus cos squared, then we duplicate it, minus 2 cos squared x plus, then we square this cos to the power 4 x dx. Now we need to expand the bracket. So you got sine x minus 2 sine x. Now, for the purpose of integrating, I'm going to write this as cos x all squared. Then multiplying that in, we get plus sine x cos x to the power 4 dx. And now we can integrate all of this. So to integrate this, we're thinking about what would differentiate 2 sine? I make a guess. I'm thinking about cos. Now cos actually differentiates to minus sine, so I have to times by minus 1. Minus sine goes to, my, uh, to cos, so I have to times by minus 1. For this one, this is a power function, so I'm going to raise the power by 1, cos x cubed, differentiate that. So you bring down the 3, then cos differentiates to minus sine, and then we knock one off the power, we get cos x squared. But we wanted minus 2. I have minus 3, so I have to times that by 2 thirds. Minus 3 times 2 thirds gives me minus 2. So I times by 2 thirds. Then finally here we have something very similar. I have cos x to the power 5. It's a power function. We raise it by power 1. Differentiate. We bring down the 5. Cos goes to minus sine. And then we knock one off the power. We can see that's basically the exact same apart from the minus 5. So we times by minus a fifth to get rid of the minus 5. And there's our answer. So we're left with the integral of that is minus cos x. The integral of this we said was 2 thirds cos cubed x. Then finally we get minus a fifth cos to the power 5 x plus two. Noise. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and learned something new.